Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we will learn how to create one create procedure in SQL Server database and call that database from Visual Studio 2010 using C sharp and retrieve value without parameter. So this is a demo. This is an application. We have a button. So when we click on this button, some employee ID generated, and when we select that employee ID. We get some employee name. So we will just see, uh, look how to create this. First, we will go to our SQL Server database. Uh, this is SQL Server database 2008 release 2, and this is the procedure we have. Just uh, this is the procedure we have uh, created. So what this procedure does, this procedure, this is actually create procedure, I have modified this. If you want to create a procedure, you write create procedure, okay, dbr dot uh, procedure name, then parameter, arguments, okay, or if you want to modify the procedure, uh, in, if you know, in Oracle it is written create or replace, here it is written alter procedure, dbr dot uh, procedure name. Here there are two parameters, one in PID, uh, which is default null, and one is rec out, which is out parameter, which is integer. Okay, so the, the, through this out parameter, I will actually return the record set of records, which will be retrieved in Visual Studio.net. So this is the comma scale, select MPID, import EMP name from DBO to imply master, where MPID equal to is null if I mean if it is null then it takes all the record and if it is has some value then it fetches for that value I will use this uh, for the from uh, two of the selection one when button press when all the employee IDs are retrieved and we select an employee IDs then employee ID is passed in this parameter and that is uh, the record is fetched here and returned okay and through this, I am returning the, this row count. This is the method to return out out parameter. Whatever you do, uh, how, in which sense, this is how you return this. Okay, then we have to return some value from here, it's like return five. So this is how the procedure is created. Now we go to the Visual Studio. Okay, so here we have one button click event where we uh, have the connection string okay i'm using sql server sql express and this is the name of the this is the data source which is the name of the machine and the uh, name of the service i mean uh, i mean sql server so sql server service so the integrated security ssp is and in the initial catalog is the, the schema name you are using other database name, user ID is SA, password is SA. This is a common one. When I open the connection, then you take the command, SQL command method. Okay. In this SQL command, I pass the procedural name. Okay, this is see, this is the procedural name. If you go to the SQL server, see, this is the procedural name. So from get SQL command, I pass this procedure name and the connection object. Then set the command type as stored procedure. Okay, you can see there are, uh, if I just populate this, there are table direct text. So I'm using stored procedure. Okay, then I'm adding parameter. The first parameter is red val. This is a type int. That second parameter, okay, and direction is return value. This is the returning, okay. The second parameter is the in parameter, okay. If you just go here, you can see there is one in this is the in parameter, okay. In PID, so that is the second parameter I'm passing, okay. And I'm setting the direction as parameter direction dot input, and third one is the output parameter. Okay, so the output parameter is just like reference parameter we used to use in C or C++, even you have used in C-sharp functions, where we pass by ref, okay. 
so which actually modify actually the parameter which is sent is been modified by the function so this is that function it is record and this is a worker and this direction is parameter direction dot output okay so in that value is set to null so for the first time i am not passing any employee id so it is retrieving all the records so that i can get all the employee ids which has been populated in the list i showed you at first so i execute the command okay and i clear the combo box employee mp code and add from the zero okay so i have three um, records i mean there are three columns zero one and two the first one is the integer because that time that's why i called get in 32 so if you go to the rt so you can see there are get in 32 get in 64 get in 16 and there is also get string if you want to return string value as we will return we will when we will retrieve the employee name or employee code so employee code is in string format string value employee id is integer and employee name is also string so we go through the loop which reads every record and returns the first uh, first position first column which is employee id and it is passed into i mean populated in the combo box so uh, next we go to the event employee code selection index change so whenever let us run this once again So when we select this one, so then this uh, index change uh, event is fired. So if you go here, when I select one employee ID, okay, uh, it is uh, returning the EMP code. Actually, the name of the control is not right. It will be EMP ID. So EMP code is given here. So that's my mistake. So I'm returning the employee ID to in that value okay so if you go here you can see there is one in that value this one okay in is the input parameter i told you in that direction is parameter direction dot input so that is goes to in that value so in any way when it goes to in that value it actually comes here if you just go to our this one it actually comes with it at the rate employee id at, at the rate emp id so here it comes where emp id equal to that value emp id and returns a once one record if, uh, because it is a unique record every emp id is unique it's a primary key okay so it is returning get string one and get string two get string one is the emp code and get string two is the emp name so if you can go here you can see it is the concatenation of the emp code hyphen emp name so this is how it happens now if you just change the selection index change every time in this things the procedure is invoked and procedure returns the record from where we get this employee code and employee name so this is how the stored procedure is uh, stored procedure is uh, built I mean, double compiled uh, uh, sorry, I mean created in SQL Server database. Okay, so just remember one thing when you are creating a new procedure, you write create procedure dbo dot. Okay, so don't forget to you write this. Use the scale, the I mean database name. Then there are some. If you you can also go to this program availability and uh, sorry from this stored procedure, right click on it. And if you select a new stored procedure, you will get the same setup template. So from here, you can remove this part. Okay, this is not required. And removing this, you can set your own parameters like I set here. Okay, so like I set it here. Then as, then the select statement, then 
return if you use one output uh, statement then it would be just set that variable equal to at that row count and return in some number value so that is all about uh, how to create procedures and uh, using out parameters to get retrieve value in any visual studio project thank you very much